Hello, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use Microsoft To Do. Microsoft To Do is a highly rated task management app or platform that can be used or accessed on any device. So whether you're using a Windows device, a Mac device, or an Android device, you'll be able to use Microsoft To Do. This is one of the major standout features. So once you have created an account on Microsoft To Do, from there you'll be able to download the app on any device in the future and simply enter your login details and you'll be up to date. It will be automatically uploaded. And by the way, you can see I'm using the web version, as you can see right here. And to access it, all you'll have to do is type in Microsoft To Do. Then you're going to select todo.office.com. So you're going to select the second option. Once you have done that, you can create a Microsoft account by using your Gmail account if you don't have one already. So you can use your Gmail email to do that and it is quite straightforward. Once you have done that, you will be led to a dashboard just like this. And the, some other standout features when it comes on to Microsoft To Do is you get access to all of the other Microsoft apps. So for example, if I were to tap on the envelope icon in the bottom left-hand corner, you would see that it redirects me to Outlook as you can see right here. So you get access to the Outlook email and you can also see the other Microsoft icons in the left-hand column right here. If you would like to use Word, Excel, PowerPoint, or OneDrive, you can get access to it right here from Microsoft To Do. So it is compiling all of the Microsoft apps for easy access. So you don't need to visit numerous platforms or have numerous tabs open up. So you can also integrate your calendar by simply tapping on the calendar icon in the bottom left hand corner and it will open up the Outlook calendar as you can see right here. So from here you can set different dates and different appointments if you want. But let's go back into Microsoft To Do. So now that I've shown you those features, how would you be able to add your first task? To do that, it is quite straightforward. You could tap on add a task. And let's say, for example, I want to create a YouTube video next week. So I'm going to be typing in, you would create a YouTube video real quick. After I've done that, I'm going to set the date that I want it. So I'll tap on add due date and it will be next week, Monday. After you have done that, you can set a reminder if you want. So I'll tap on remind me. I want to be reminded tomorrow. If you would like to pick the date that you would like to be reminded, you can do that. Then you can also tap on repeat. So if you would like this to repeat daily, weekdays, weekly, custom, you can do that also. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on add. And you can see I've now created my first task. Now, if you would like to create a list, so let's say, for example, I want to group my tasks. So I would like that task to go under YouTube. I'll simply tap on new list from the left hand menu option. And I'm going to type in YouTube, then tap on enter. So that task has been placed under YouTube. Then you can tap on new list if you want. And another thing that you could also do if you would like to add more stuff to this task, you can simply tap on task from the left hand menu option then tap on the particular task and you're going to see a drop down menu on the right hand column on which you can add another step if you want. So you can add a second or third step if you want. And you can also see add to my day. You could do that. So you could do that right there. Remove from my day if you want. And you can also edit the due date as you can see right there. You can also set up different categories. So you could tap on pick a category and you could create a new category. And you can also add a file if you want. So let's say, for example, you are going to be assigning this task to someone else. You could simply tap on add file or you could add a note. So you could add a note right here if you are planning to assign this task to someone else. Once you are finished, let's hide that real quick. Now that you have done that, if you'd like to create a category, as I said earlier, 
you can see the different categories right there and another thing that you could also do is tap on group then tap on categories and from there you'll see the different categories you can see on categorize right there and also another thing that you could also do is tap on the three dots and if you would like to change the theme you can do that so you can change the color as you can see right here so you can choose the particular color that you would want so you can have each task in a different color as you can see right there so the color of each task has changed and once you have completed a task all you'll need to do is tap on the box right there and you can see completed now another thing that you can also do is by going over to the left hand menu option you can see the tasks that are assigned to you by tapping on assign to you can also tap on planned where you'll be able to see all of your daily or weekly tasks and you can also tap on import you can also tap on important and you'll see the tasks that you have marked as important and also if we were to go over to the top left hand corner and tap on the nine dots in the top left hand corner you can see the different apps that you'll have access to so you can use skype and different apps on this platform now that we have done that we are going to go over to the top right hand corner and we are going to tap on settings once you have tapped on settings you can see different features that you can edit for example you can edit the confirm before deleting or so on you can see numerous features that you can toggle on or off after you have done that you can also tap right here where you see the horn and from there you'll be able to see the new features or any new updates that have come out and by tapping on your profile pic in the top right hand corner you'll be able to access your profile as you can see right here now that we have done all of that let's go back into our task so i'll tap on the task right here and that is basically a quick rundown of the microsoft to do task management if you found this tutorial helpful and informative be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and thank you also for watching and again remember that you'll have access to all of the microsoft apps in the bottom left hand corner so for example you could tap on files right here and it is going to redirect you to outlook live files as you can see here so you can have access to all of these if you want thanks again for watching hope you found it helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe